Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Christian greetings. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we shall rejoice in it and be glad. Good morning, Sister Betty. Good morning, Sister Janice. Good morning, Sister Deborah. Good morning, Sister Sharon. God bless all of you. Good morning, Sister Tara Lynn. And good morning, Sister Patricia. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to Sister Daphne. This is a good day to give God some praise. Good morning, Sister Wanda and Sister Lorraine. Good morning, Sister Kim. And even to those we cannot see your names. Good morning, Sister Kiana and Sister Yvette. Good morning, Sister Dion. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to Sister, Sister Magna and Lady Susan and Sister Rudy Ann. I want to share this with you too, that um, as you're coming in, we are uh, positioning ourselves. And I want to say this. Or, um, and when I was in college, um, our professor used to say that if uh, they are not there within 15 minutes, to, uh, that they would see you on the next day. And I want to say that good morning, Sister Sharon. I want to say good morning, Sister Judith, to all of you that um, if we are disconnected, I, I hear the weather, if we are disconnected in any way, um, I want you to know that I would do my best. I'll keep trying to get back within uh, the 15 minutes. And if I'm not back within the 15 minutes, then I will uh, see you on the next day. Um, that's just um, a pre-information um, before we start. But I want to say good morning to all of you and thank you for reconnecting with other intercessors. Good morning, Sister Wanda, Sister Lisa. I'm missing some of you. Good morning to all of you. I want you to begin to uh, position yourselves to war with our hands and with our fingers to fight with our fingers. You're strategically fighting in cyberspace and we are commanding, directing, and we are prophesying into our morning. Not only our morning, but into the morning of others for positive outcomes based upon the word of God. I want you, as you're coming in, to feel free to share. Good morning, Brother Larry. I want you to feel free to share as you enter in so that we can combine our voices with others in our fight. And we declare and decree through the word of God that I will make my prayer unto God and he will hear me. He will hear me. The Bible says, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. I want to share with you um, a specific word that has been, uh, of course, uh, bubbling within, and God is having me to share it with you also. We often ask where, we often ask God, where are you? Not only do we ask God where he is, but we also ask God uh, where he was, especially when it comes to being in the midst of a situation or being in the midst of a thing, whether it is um, a negative thing or whether it is a good thing, we ask God, can you hear me? Kind of like the, the, the phone, we ask, can you hear me, God? Can you hear me? Why are you not responding to me? And God showed me and wanted me to tell you that he was there and he is there. But we are not always, or we are always looking for God in a familiar form and in a particular way. And he did not, and he is not presenting himself to us in that way that we are familiar with. And God is declaring that even now he is not going to present himself to you in the same way that he came before. When God, when God shares with us that he's not going to present himself to us in the same way that he came before, it always puts us on alert for God. 
It puts us attentive to God. It always makes us God seekers running after God. We never want to get dull when it comes to seeking after God and the things of God. Genesis chapter 28 says, it says about Jacob. We know the story of Jacob. First of all, we see Jacob and Esau. And Jacob had tricked Esau out of his blessing. But in this 28th chapter of the book of Genesis, Jacob is on his way to where he was to be in life. Where he was to be in his season. And God allowed him to rest at a specific place on his way. And when God allowed him to rest at that specific place, the Bible says that as Jacob laid down, Jacob began to have a dream. And in this dream, he was getting ready. Um, God was getting ready to give Jacob and his family their future. God was declaring unto Jacob that the communication, the communication between he and uh, 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 um, God, um, God was getting ready to share him, share with him what was on his mind. But here is what was interesting. What was interesting was that God was showing Jacob that there is communication between heaven and earth. I'm going to say that again. God was showing Jacob that there is communication between heaven and earth. And Jacob finds out from God that he is with him. Jacob finds out from God that he will keep him and he will not leave him. Jacob finds out that there really is transfers between heaven and earth. Sometimes we need to know God that you hear me and God that you know. God, is there a transfer between heaven when I speak? Is there a transfer from heaven to earth? And God declares when he is sharing with Jacob in the dream that there is transfer and that there is communication. That shares right there with me that if we ever doubted that heaven was real, know this, that heaven is real. And if we ever doubted that God hears us, it is a truth that God hears us. The Bible begins to declare that when J Jacob awaked out of his sleep, here's his words. He said, surely the Lord is in this place and I knew it not. You know what that says? When Jacob realized that the Lord was in the place and he didn't know it, it says that God appeared before Jacob in a way that he had never seen before. Mm. God shared with Jacob in a manner that he had not known before. And I hear the Lord declaring that he's getting ready to share with you. He's getting ready to show you himself. He's getting ready to speak to you in a manner that he has not before. That means that you have to be aware and sensitive to God. Jacob had no idea that the place where he was was the exact place that he needed to be at the time that he needed to be there. He needed to be at that time at the gate of heaven in order to receive from God that would change his life forever. Huh. I need to tell you, make sure that you don't leave where you are. It is oftentimes when we get ready to, when we are so frustrated and, and disappointed at uh, what's not happening, that we leave where we are and that's the place where God wants us to be. Ah, sometimes God wants us to be so frustrated with ourselves. That's when we begin to really lean and depend upon God. Notice that God showed himself to Jacob. And the promises made that had nothing to do with his deceptive past. God still revealed his promises unto Jacob. 
And it had nothing to do with what he had just done. Ah, God's promises to Jacob did not stop just because Jacob had done something wrong. The Bible declares that God keeps his promises. He is a covenant-keeping God. And with him being a covenant-keeping God, he declares that whatever he has promised to you, it shall come to pass. Here is my point. Expect God to show up and expect God to answer in unfamiliar forms and unfamiliar ways. Job says, he passes by me and I see him not. He moves, but I do not perceive him. When Elijah was running from Jezebel, the Bible declared, and he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. The Bible declares, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. And the Bible says, and it was so when Elijah heard that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering of the cave. And the Bible says, and behold, there came a voice unto him and said, what doest thou here, Elijah? Mm. Ah, why are you here? What, what, what's the problem? So in Luke 24, Jesus joined himself to two men that were walking and talking about the resurrection. The Bible declared that, the, uh, that Jesus walked and talked with these men for quite a while. And these men thought he was a stranger. Jesus began to question and talk to them about things. And the men continued to talk to them, to talk to him. And the Bible says that they even looked at him. And when they looked at him, they still had no idea who he was. Now, what's the point here? Expect God to show up and expect God to speak Expect God to answer in unfamiliar forms and in unfamiliar ways. Job says, um, Job uh, 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 shows us that the character of God in the midst of troubling times can be blurry. How I say that? Because he said this, for God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Is it possible? That while we are waiting for God to answer, that he has spoke to us time after time after time. But we did not perceive that it was God. Sometimes we perceive, oh, that's myself. Or, oh, that's somebody else. Uh, somebody else just said that to me. Could it be that God is confirming his word that he has said unto us? Job said, behold, I go forward, but he is not there. And backward, but I cannot perceive. On the left hand where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him. But God wanted me to share with you, to trust that he is there, but not always in the same form. So even when it's hard for us to see, and when it's hard for us to hear, steal yourself because he is there and showing himself in the form that you need, not in the form that you expect. Ah, I want us to get ready to pray. Kila Mashodosa. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, mama. What are we praying about? We're interceding for those that are searching for God. Not only are we interceding for those that are searching for God, but we're interceding for still for first responders and for uh, uh, the next wave that's supposed to be coming. And then finally, we're interceding for our prayer requests. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, let's begin in some praise. Come on, I want you to put some praise in the comment box. God, we give you glory. God, we bless your wonderful name. 
You are a mighty God. There is none beside you. God, we thank you. Thank you for what we've already seen of you. And uh, thank you, Lord God, for what we will see of you. Thank you, Lord God, because you've been good to us. Thank you, Lord God, you allowed us to see another beginning of another week. And God, we give you glory. God, we magnify your awesome name for you are good. And your mercy endure forever. Great are you, Lord. You're high and lifted up. And God, you're worthy to be adored. Mighty is your name. Ah, from the rising of the sun, God, until the going down of the same. The name of the Lord shall be praised. Oh, God, thank you for nudging us early on this morning to seek you. Early in the morning, Lord God, will I seek you. Hey, God, I give you praise. God, I magnify your just name. Hallelujah. Your righteous name, your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift your name on high. Oh, God, we declare and decree that you are God and there is no None beside you. There is none like you. There is none, none above you. You are holy. In I, holy is your name. Eyama, none can compare to you. Kite Yoshitamasaya. Oh God. And we declare God right now that we need you. Hallelujah. We declare God that we are nothing without you. We declare, dear God, that we need you not just today, but we need you tomorrow. We need needed you on yesterday. If we forgot, Lord God, to declare and decree that we need you, God, by the very fact in the name of Jesus, by the very fact, Lord God, that we're still alive, it recognizes to us that we need you. Because the very breath, Lord God, that we breathe does not belong to us and was not promised to us, but God, it comes from you. And God, we want to say thank you. God, we want to give you glory. And while we're going to give you honor, God, we want to magnify your name. Hallelujah to the all-knowing God, all-sufficient God. You know what we need before we even ask. And yet you said, ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. That's a promise. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. Oh, dear God, we're knocking. We're asking, Lord God. And because we're doing that, God, you said that we shall receive. Oh, God, we give your name praise. Our God, with all Oh, with all you are, Lord God, we recognize that all things are possible with you. There is nothing, Lord God, that is too hard for you. So, God, we declare and decree that even this prayer and the petitions that we make is not too hard for you. You said, Lord God, that you can do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power of God which worketh within us. So, God, that declares unto me that even what I speak, Lord God, and you can do it. And above, Lord God, even what I'm thinking, you can do that too. Oh, God. So we seek after you. We wait on you, dear God. Oh, God, I hear the Lord declare it to somebody to calm yourself down and wait because God heard you. And God is on his way. Oh, God, we bless you. Your next word, Lord God, is going give us life. And I am, and we're trying to move based upon your word, dear God, and based upon, Lord God, our own thoughts. In the name of Jesus, God, we need to hear from you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, so since we need to hear from you, God, we're asking you to cleanse us of our sins. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, create within us a clean heart. And and renew within us a right spirit in the name of Jesus. And because, Lord God, we ask, Lord, you forgive us. You forgave us. You are forgiving us now. Now, Lord God, there is nothing that stands between our petition and your voice. God, you will hear. And God, you will answer prayer. Thank you for a clear passage in the name of Jesus. And God, now for that, we want to say thank you. 
Hallelujah. For that we give you glory in the name of Jesus. And we declare that we will hear your voice. Hallelujah. Oh God. Thank you. 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 Thank you for your presence early in the morning. Hallelujah. I know your presence, Lord God, is even overshadowing all of our intercessors in the name of Jesus. May your presence, Lord God, fill them right now. From the top of their head to the sole of their feet in the name of Jesus. And oh God, every ache and every pain in the name of Jesus that they woke up with this morning. May your presence, Lord God, overshadow them in the name of Jesus and begin to heal from the top of their head to the sole of their feet in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree, Lord God, right in the midst of your presence, that if there are any headaches, Lord God, touch the headache in the name of Jesus. Oh God, if there's ringing in the ears, oh God, I ask you to heal the ringing in the ears in the name of Jesus. Aches in the bones in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask you to heal them. Oh yeah, my I hear that. I hear that. Your presence, Lord God, is filling them. Your presence, Lord God, is covering them. Oh God, any blood issues, I ask you in the name of Jesus. Any pain, Lord God, in the hands, arthritis in the hands, God, I ask you to touch right now. Your presence in the name of Jesus is here to heal. Your presence, Lord God, is here to strengthen. I ask you, Lord God, where they are weak in their body, every intercessor in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord God, to give them strength in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let them know, Lord God, that you're right there with them. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for touching them with your presence. Oh, God, fill the rooms wherever they are, Lord God, positioning themselves in order to intercede for somebody else. I just hear it, Lord God. I ask you in the name of Jesus to be Begin, Lord God, to fill their rooms in the name of Jesus. Let them feel, Lord God, your presence all in the air. And as your presence, Lord God, is filling the air, God, I ask you to go throughout their house in the name of Jesus. Go throughout every room in their home in the name of Jesus. And let your presence be felt in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and for that we give you glory. For that, Lord God, we give you honor. For that, Lord God, we magnify your great name in the name of Jesus. Oh God, everything in the house that is not feeling good. God, I ask you, everything in their home to, 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 to touch their body in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and for that we give you glory. For that, Lord God, we magnify your name. For that, Lord God, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we intercede on behalf of those who have been searching for you in tears, trying to find you, Lord God, uh, trying to hear you, uh, trying to understand your ways, uh, trying to understand your plans. Uh, oh God, uh, we ask you in the name of Jesus uh, for all those that are trying to seek your direction uh, and God seeming like not to hear anything. Uh, oh God, again, let them to know that you're right there uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, those that are about to give up, uh, those that are about to let go about to take matters in their own hands. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord God, to open their eyes. Let them see you in the name of Jesus in a manner they've never seen you before. To know, Lord God, not to back up, not to leave in the name of Jesus because you are right there. Oh God, reassure them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, reassure them that you have always heard their cry. You assure them, Lord God, that there's a transfer now from heaven to earth. Hi, uh, a transfer now from heaven to earth on their behalf uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, I hear God declaring that again. Uh, I want you to put that in a comment box. Uh, there is a transfer now from heaven to earth uh, on your behalf. Uh, on your behalf. Uh, there's a transfer now from heaven to earth uh, on your behalf. Uh, hallelujah. You called him and now there's a transfer uh, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. Lord, you have heard, you have heard them. And God, in this time, you have laid them down. You have stilled them so that they can see you. Hallelujah, see what they don't see. Lord God, the answer, the answer that they need in order to go forward is in what they cannot see. Open their eyes in the name of Jesus. Lord, don't let them mess, don't let them miss you in the name of Jesus. Don't let them discount the small details of things. Everything matters. I hear the Lord declaring to tell you that in this season, everything matters. The things that we think are little, they all matter in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let us submit our ideas, submit our traditions, submit our thoughts, submit our perceptions of you. Oh God, we ask that you reveal purposes, reveal destinies in the name of Jesus. Oh God, so we're not just going through time, but God, we're understanding and seeing you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you to uncloak things in our lives that are not you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask that you relax. Ah, relax. Okay, I am. Oh, I am Messiah. Relax us, Lord God, so we can know that you heard us in the name of Jesus. Your word declares that if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given unto him. Oh, God, we declare and decree again that your word says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way that thou shouldest go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Ah, your word declares to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge you and you shall direct our paths. Oh, God, and we don't want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God. How we declare and decree that it is so, God. In the name of Jesus, we are now sensitive, Lord God. Sensitive in the name of Jesus to the form in which you shall come. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, and we declare and decree that it is so. And we say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give you praise for that prayer. Oh, God, we're learning how to praise you. Yes, before we move forward, we're learning how to praise you. Praise you, Lord God, for what we ask you for. And it is done. We're learning how to give you glory. We're learning how to give you honor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Now, God, we intercede in the name of Jesus. Jesus, for our first responders in the name of Jesus. Every first responder, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, to allow your blood to cover their minds. Oh, God, not one more take, take their lives in the name of Jesus. Not one more pastor. How I... Not one more pastor, not one more doctor, not one more nurse, not one more bus driver in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But I ask you, Lord God, to cover them and to keep their minds in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord God, uh, for those that are concerned about their immune system because of coming in contact with those that may be uh, they kosha, virus positive. Oh God, not only virus is positive, but around contagious diseases. God, I ask you to build their immune system in the name of Jesus. I ask you, God, to protect their families in the name of Jesus. Protect all of their connections in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we need our first responders. God, because you have anointed them to be where they are. And God, we pray every day in the name of Jesus for them. Keep them 
them, Lord God, your blood cover them in the name of Jesus. God, we pray even for what they declare to be the next wave of COVID-19. Hallelujah to God in the name of Jesus. Ah, we declare and decree that it will not be what they declare that it shall be because God, you're cleansing the atmosphere right now. Ah, God, you're healing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh, thank you because people are practicing safety, uh, 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 safety avenues. They're practicing safety and tactics in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you because you're decreasing the impact of COVID-19. God, you're strengthening in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you're putting the perfect vaccine in the mind of the scientists with no side effects in the name of Jesus. And for that, God, we're giving you praise. Hallelujah. God, we're praying for the job market. God, we ask you to create, hallelujah, market needs. So you create jobs and create openings. Those who previously were not accepted now, God, let them be seen as qualified and some overqualified in the name of Jesus. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, every intercessor, Lord God, that is out there, that God does not have a job, that has lost their job. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over them, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let individuals be calling them in the name, businesses be calling them and declaring, Lord God, that they need them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we declare and decree that it is so. And for that, Lord God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. For that, Lord God, we give you praise. Oh God, it's been put out there, Lord God, that there's a shortening of food. We pray even, Lord God, for the food market. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, show us how, Lord God, to break and increase what we have. In the name of Jesus, show us options. Where there is no meat, show us options, Lord God, with what we have in order to be nourishment to our body. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, let us see fruit, Lord God. Let us see the seed and fruit, Lord God, even in vegetables. Oh, God, so that it would meet the need of our bodies. Oh, God, I ask you to give us understanding of healthy bartering between ourselves in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, give us compassion where there is a need and we have it so that that we can help somebody else in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask you, you said in your word that you would supply all of our needs. And God, because you have not failed yet, I know right now that even though, Lord God, it may be a shortage in the market, but there is no shortage in our lives. Oh God, because you're bringing it about in the name of Jesus and we give you glory. Hile kusara hade Oh God, and for this right now, God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. God, we magnify your name. And God, we declare and decree that it is so. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Oh God, and right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our prayer requests. Oh God, we bring before you, Yelamasaya. We bring before you, Lord God, those needs that are upon the heart of your people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We ask you, Lord God, to heal. We ask you, God, to deliver. We ask you, Lord God, to sustain them. We ask you, Lord God, to keep them. We ask you to cover them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray for Gianna Bartolite Bartolacio in the name of Jesus, who Who's on the Princess cruise ship in the name of Jesus. She's been on there for months. Oh, God, the American embassy is aware of it. And God, her family is stressed because she is not home. God, we pray for Gianna in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for her mom, Jane. And we pray for her dad, Paul. God, she's a young lady. And God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to keep her. We ask you, Lord God, to keep her mind in the name of Jesus. We ask you to cover 
her in the name of Jesus from the top of her head to the sole of her feet and God we ask you to, to bring her home in the name of Jesus so she can get love from family Oh, God, and we declare and decree that it is so in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for baby Aria Ware in the name of Jesus. She's only 35 weeks old. And God, we pray, Lord God, that you would strengthen the baby in the name of Jesus. God, she's in the hospital with hands up the baby, worshiping you. At 35 weeks old, God, we ask you to heal her body in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for parents, Corey and Kristen, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, do a work. Uh, show them, Lord God, uh, that you're still God on the on the throne. Uh, let, Lord God, our prayers that have gone up before you, let there be a release, Lord God, from heaven, uh, down on the baby, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, we pray uh, for ecclesiastical leaders, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray, Lord God, uh, for our world leaders, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for the heads of household in the name of Jesus. We pray for Dr. Stan and Cynthia in the name of Jesus. We pray for our church families and in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for Patricia Harris. We pray for Sophia Brooks in the name of Jesus. We pray for Camille Townsend. We pray, Lord God, for Bishop Leon Pettis and Elder Karen Clark. Karen Cork in the name of Jesus. We pray for Aretha Hutchins' mother in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we ask you in the name of Jesus uh, to, to see about Tony and Jeffrey Jr. and Darnell in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, to bring backsliders home. We pray, Lord God, for Lady Moore in the name of Jesus. We pray for Sicarian Moore. We pray for Dion Cryer and for Robert Cryer. We pray for Harold Sr. and Jr. We pray for Leon Spells and for Mark. Marcus Moore, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Emmanuel Moore. We pray for Tara Lynn Coke in the name of Jesus. Oh God, do a quick work in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for those that are leaders of our youth. Oh God, strengthen them in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for Yolanda McClare. We pray for our governors and our mayors and our city councilmen in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for Yolanda McClare for Fanny Robinson, for the Boyer and Brown family, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Keisha Robinson. We pray for the Rogers family. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Devin, in the name of Jesus. We pray for those that have brain cancers. We pray for Janice Brown. We pray, Lord God, for David, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for David Hood. Heart touch his body. We pray for Jack Thompson, in in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, for the Johnson family. We pray for J uh, Jazir in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for Lydell and for Glenda Gilchrist. God, touch your body. Continue from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. God, we pray for Shell Rose in the name of Jesus. We pray for Kristen, the assistant principal in Campbell, Ohio. Oh, God, we pray for Tamara Jefferson. For, for Aisha Logan and for Yvette Brown. God, we pray for our children that have the virus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, God, to strengthen their immune system and allow them to fight. We pray for the Bryant family. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, God, for Pastor Jet and for Lady Desiree and for Caden and Kristen. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, God, for Mother Belle. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for the Perkins family, yep. for Christopher and First Lady uh, Armstrong. Uh, we pray for Mother Anna Taylor, uh, for Nor Nora Payne, uh, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Tanika Davis uh, and, the, and the Manor Care. Uh, we pray, Lord God, uh, for our students and our teachers and our administrators. Uh, we pray for Evelyn Wilburn, uh, for the Anderson children and grandchildren. We pray for the Cottles, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for Sean. 
and for Deanna and for Christina Tony in the name of Jesus. We pray for Dale LaVon. We pray, Lord God, for the Thomas family in the name of Jesus. We pray for the Edgeworth family, for the Anderson family in the name of Jesus. We pray for the Buccaneers in the name of Jesus. We pray strengthen in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for all our senior citizens, for Tiffany, for Nehemiah, for Keisha, for Braden, for uh, Amaya, uh, Joseph in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for the PAW leaders. Uh, we pray for the Church of God in Christ leaders. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for the leaders of all organizations uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, we pray for those that are on dialysis and chemo. Uh, we pray for Patricia Jackson uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for Mother Ethel McCroy. Uh, we pray for the Williams family. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for the Dumas family. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, for the Williams family. We pray, Lord God, for Mr. Elliot Graves. In the name of Jesus, you see him, Lord God. Hallelujah. We're asking you, Lord God, to even bring the fever down. Hallelujah. From Marion and Willie, God, we pray. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray for Deacon Wagner, for Sister Wormsley. In the name of Jesus, we pray for Latrice, for Tanya Rhodes. We pray, Lord God, for Tanya Baines and Cody. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the Cheryl children and grandchildren. We pray for all of the widows in the name of Jesus. Strengthen them, Lord God, for all of our pastors that have lost their companions. God, uphold them for the churches. God, we pray for Aaron Durham. In the name of Jesus, oh God, keep all of our students, Lord, that are going to college, those that are trying to graduate from college, in the name of Jesus, oh God, and for this we give you praise, hallelujah, we pray, Lord God, for those that are in abusive situations, God, in the name of Jesus, you can deliver, and we thank you, Lord God, for your deliverance right now, in the name of Jesus, right now, right now, right now. We pray for Bishop Murray, for Bishop Christopher. We pray for Hale Kuyem Ajaya in the name of Jesus. We pray for Rita Wood in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for the Wagner family in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, strengthen them. We pray for Larry Jr., for Lakeisha, and for the Linux in the name of Jesus. We pray for spiritual healing for Jermaine in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my Kodesh. Shama. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we declare and decree that it is so. I want you to put it in the comment box. Hallelujah. We pray for the mother's board in the name of Jesus from every church. From Rita Woods in the name of Jesus. Put it is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. In the name of Jesus, it is so. We pray for Polly Parks. Lord God, strengthen her heart in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Because we declare and decree right now, Lord God, that you're forgiven student loans. In the name of Jesus, and it is so. Hallelujah. Come on, declare and decree that it is so. Hallelujah. And put a praise on it. 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 Thank you, God. 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 For Larry Washington and family. God, we thank you. God, we Thank you. God, we thank you. Now, God, to hear that side. I pray, Lord God, for again every intercessor in the name of Jesus uh, that is on this line. Cover them, Lord God, uh, in their going out and then they're coming in, in their down sitting and in their uprising in the name of Jesus. In their thoughts, Lord God, uh, I ask you, Lord God, to uh, pour out upon them what they did not even expect. Uh, but because of their faithfulness, Lord God, you're doing it for them. And God, we declare and decree that it is so. Now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts and your minds in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree that it is so. In the name of Jesus. 
Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Until we come together again tomorrow, Hamasa, at 5 a.m. in the morning. May God bless you. May God keep you. May heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.